Hello and welcome back to Bootleg Macro, your number one YouTube source for tracking stock market and crypto trends. I'm your host, Dustin. Let's dive in. With today's action, we have raised interest rates by four and a half percentage points over the past year. We continue to anticipate that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate. And just like that, Jerome Powell put the markets into a little bit of a tizzy. You can see here with the chart of the dollar how you had on the instant reaction, there was essentially no change. But the following day, the Friday after, there was a huge rally in the dollar. Looking here at the dollar on a weekly chart, looking all the way back to the middle of 2020, we can see that the dollar here specifically had an up week, which has completely changed the recent trajectory that we've seen where we've, since we've seen a bearish trend take over since October 2022. That leads me to the question. But does today's action suggest that the Fed has broken the back of the bears? What other trends are reversing if the dollar is going to suddenly become bullish again? That's what we're going to investigate in this video by looking at a few charts between the healthcare sector, the utility sector, the consumer staple sector, and of course we'll take a quick look at the dollar just to make sure we can confirm what we think is going to happen. Now what we're going to do is take a quick look at the dollar. Now re-establishing kind of an understanding of how charts are used, I don't generally use charts here at Bootleg Macro, but I'm going to take a look here at the weekly and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my specific indicators for trend, sentiment, and price range. At the prices that we've seen on the UUP, essentially in ETF for the bullish dollar, we can see that prices have really been falling ever since the end of October. The 21st and the 20th of October, we can see that the dollar hit a high just over $30. And after that, it hasn't even been able to keep above its five week moving average. Transitioning over to looking at sentiment for the dollar, especially for the UUP, one of the things I've highlighted here is a sentiment indicator. Now this indicator is a little foreign to most people, but the way that you think about it is that this is the percentage of bullish sentiment that is going on in an individual stock based off of the price action. So you can see here that I've highlighted the week of October 21st of 2022 in the dollar. And you had, when you had 40% of the price action was bearish, which means that 60% of the price action was bullish. That's why you were getting those blow off tops in the dollar in the middle of October. Any trader who's going to look at the dollar being instantly bullish after you've had a major catalyst from the Federal Reserve is going to ask the major question, what opportunities are being created now if there's a reversal in what has been a counter trend in the dollar? And I think that all of those opportunities are going to lie with healthcare, utilities, and staples. Now let's take a look and look at their sentiment, price trend, and price range. taking a look at the XLU here on this card that I've created, what we can notice is that it was down for the week, 1.42%. But the one thing that I find to be absolutely fascinating is that it has a positive and rising correlation to the dollar. Now, what if the dollar is starting to break out and we're starting to find that utilities have been oversold and gotten rid of for the past few weeks? Now looking here at utility sentiment for the XLU, we can see that it's actually currently based. It's currently gotten down to about 40% of bullish sentiment, which generally with the way that bullish and bearish sentiment work, you can't get above 60% and you can't get below 40%. As we can see here, when we look back in October of 2022, we can see that the bullish sentiment inside of utilities continued to fall until it based around 40% in the middle of October, which lines up perfectly with what we see here and then a rally right off the bottom. That's the power of looking at bullish and bearish sentiment when you just look at the price action. Now taking a look at the price action in utilities going into the middle of October, we can see that there is some very negative bearish sentiment. When you have bullish sentiment only at 38 or 40%, that's very negative in the market. But we can see it started to base at the very end of October and then it started to rise out into November as we started to get those 40, 45, and 50% bullish price sentiment indicators inside of utilities. This is the type of move that you're looking for when you're looking for buying a new breakout or reversing of a counter trend. Coming back and looking at the price action we see currently in utilities, we can see that we've started to actually hit those low 40s, high 30s, again, when it comes to the bearish sentiment or the bullish sentiment on the utilities. So this leads me to believe that we're at least going to get a counter trend rally bounce here. So if utilities are in a full bear market, we're going to see at least a bounce from these levels.
Now this trade range is going all the way back to the summer of 2022 and we can see the volatility that we've seen in XLU. We can also see very clearly on the screen where we saw that waterfall drop in the middle of October and then that kind of rally and come off of the base. And we can see again that price has fallen, but considering that we have bullish sentiment as low as 38 or 40 percent, it doesn't seem that common that we wouldn't see price move very much. It's showing that the sentiment in the market has gotten very negative, even though price hasn't moved very much, which means that just a little bit of bullish sentiment returning could take us to newer highs in this recent rally. And this gives me an opportunity to think that this is a place for me to want to start putting on some opportunities or some bets inside of XLU. But before I do that, I have to get an understanding of what is being held inside of this ETF. So let's take a look at the top three holdings of XLU. Looking at, at uh, looking at Nextra Energy, we can see that it's pretty much followed the exact same path as XLU, which makes a lot of sense since this is the heaviest weighting that would exist inside of the XLU ETF. Nextra Energy is 16% of XLU. So pretty much as Nextra goes, so goes XLU. Now let's take a quick look at its price, its sentiment, and its trade. Similarly, we can see that Nextra Energy was down 1.2% for the week, where utilities were down 1.46 for the week. So very similar in terms of their pattern, as you would expect. Now looking at Nextra Energy, we can see the price sentiment is very well into the high 30s, low 40s, very similar to what we're expecting out of XLU. So this is also showing the exact same kind of price divergence that we've seen previously in XLU, where things can get incredibly oversold and you get a bounce back just purely because you need some mean reversion. Taking a closer look at the bullish sentiment in Nextra Energy in the middle of October, beginning of December, we can see that it was getting over 60 and 63%. Now when prices get to the extremes and we see sentiment get so overbought or so oversold, it isn't necessarily a signal that we're going to see significant price advances, but what it is is confirming that you've seen a bullish move. So understanding that something being at 63%, you can see here that the price continued to still move in extra energy for a few weeks. We know now that we're at the high 30s, low 40s when it comes to bullish sentiment, which means that even if we would suspect that we'd get back to 50%, we should see some price appreciation in the next few weeks here. So looking here at the Nextra trade range that I've built, uh, what we can see is a big widening in terms of the opening at the end here, especially when we look at the red line and the green line. When you see a breakout, especially when you see that the range was so tight before and you see a widening of the range, what it's really telling you is that there's been an expansion in the volatility, which means you've either seen a significant move upwards or downwards. Generally what you'll see is a significant move downwards in volatility just because the market tends to want to go up. But I do believe that when you see volatility expand like that, it increases the probability of the outcomes of violent moves in either direction. So knowing that we're expecting that currently bullish sentiment is clearly oversold around the high 30s or low 40s, you would expect that there would be an incredible snapback in the utilities or at least in extra energy over the next few weeks. Now we're going to take a quick look at Duke Energy, which is 7.5% of the XLU ETF. Now you can see here when we're looking back in October, this is when the Duke Energy was having a huge sell-off and was starting to bottom. Now what we can see here when we look in transition back to the chart, those days where we can see that significantly depressed bullish sentiment is when you're seeing that convinced double bottom that was rebounding at the bottom of October. Now the benefit that we have is that we have the hindsight to be able to look and see what happened in November as it came off of that bottom. Now I want us to look at what it looks like when it hits the peak. Now we're looking here again just a month later 
towards the end of November of 2022, we can see this excessively bullish sentiment in Duke Energy. This is when you're seeing 60, 62 percent bullish sentiment in this ticker, which again, knowing and understanding a stochastic process means that you're only going to be able to hit so much before you're going to have a fallback off of that peak. But this is the benefit of looking back in history and understanding what your signals will tell you. We can see right here in November, just as we were hitting that 60 to 62 percent bullish sentiment in Duke Energy, that's when you're seeing a significant move upwards off of that bottom in October. And this is the type of move that I'd be expecting now that we'd be seeing utilities as well as the staples and healthcare all moving together with the dollar. So looking at sentiment here in Duke Energy, what we can see very quickly is that we're very much back in the 40s when it comes to bullish sentiment. So we're in the high 40s. We haven't seen a flush necessarily in the two day, the five day or the 10 day average, but on the 23 day average, we do see it already at 37% and at 29% at the very bottom on the 10 day rolling average. So that's a significant and bullish sentiment. To see that kind of a move coming back in Duke Energy, especially when we see that there's a high correlation to the dollar and XLU is performing very closely to how the dollar is, if there's a breakout in the dollar, you would expect that Duke Energy would continue to take part in that rally. So looking here at Duke Energy's trade range, what we can tell is that the price has fallen all the way from the top of the range to the bottom of the range. So with it trading around $100, we would expect to at least see some mean reversion based off of seeing that bullish sentiment getting so depressed recently that we could see the price go from 100 to 105, 110, or maybe even higher, depending on if you get the entire sector of utilities to start running with the dollar. Now we're going to take a look at So, the southern company, which is the third heaviest weight inside of the XLU. I've been looking here at the weekly and the daily, but now we're going to look at it on a sentiment basis and get an idea of where this ranks in its trade range. So maybe you can tell that I've moved this up an entire day because it has taken me two different days to shoot this entire video. But one of the things I want to call out is just that we did get a bullish move off of this Monday action for the Southern Company. Now one of the things that's most interesting is that it's still bearish on the daily. So there is still bearish sentiment inside of the Southern Company on the daily chart. Which as we can see here based on the recent price action the first month of 2023, it's been incredibly bearish for the Southern Company. So we'd expect nothing less at the moment. Now let's take a quick look at the sentiment. Take a look at the sentiment inside of the Southern Company. We can see that it's even more depressed than what we were seeing in Duke Energy. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the numbers to get an idea of exactly what bullish sentiment is inside of the Southern Company at the moment. Take an exact look at those same two day, five day, and 10 day averages of bullish sentiment inside of it, just like we did with Duke Energy. Now what this shows when we look at the Southern Company, Based off of what price action we've seen at the end of January, the beginning of February of 2023, bullish sentiment is incredibly depressed. We are at the high 30s, low 40s on the 2-day, 5-day, and 10-day, which means that we have at least bottomed in the bearish sentiment, and what we're going to look to find is a resumption of some of that bullish demand in the stock. <music> 